simplifying radicals. Um, so a radical is the square root sign, basically. Um, most of us know it by that. And square root means that whatever, we want to know whatever times itself is equal to what is underneath the square root sign. So this is basically saying what times itself is equal to 81. Well, that is nine because nine times nine is equal to 81, okay? For the square root of 172, we first need to know the factors of 172. So I've already looked these up. Um, if you don't know them, if it's a harder number, a big number that you don't know them right off the top of your head, you need to, uh, one thing you could do is look them up on Google and put factors of 172. Uh, the numbers that you need to look for are the perfect squares. They are 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. We could keep going. Uh, 121, 144, 169. All right, and you might ask me, where do you get these numbers, Miss Porter? Well, two times two is four. Three times three is nine. Four times four is 16. Five times five is 25 and so on and so forth. Six times six, seven times seven, eight times eight, nine times nine, 10 times 10, 11 times 11, 12 times 12, 13 times 13. All right, so I've already looked this up and I know that um, 172 is the square root of four times the square root of 43. Well, I know that the square root of four is two and 43 can't be broken down. So the square root of 172 is equal to four square root of three, 43. Um, if your problem asked for it in decimal form, you would just take 172, put it in your calculator, hit the square root button, and it will give you that answer. Now, 47. 47 does not have a factor of any of these, so I cannot simplify it. So the answer would just stay square root of 47.